Phoenix 1.1 is the latest and greatest release of our flagship theme and includes the newest iteration of our powerful page builder plugin, Bricks. Bricks 1.3 introduces two new features, shared templates and responsive blocks and sections visibility. Shared templates are a way to display the very same piece of content created with Bricks in multiple pages without duplicating it every time. In this sense, they provide a great enhancement to our template system, because when you edit a shared template, you will see the changes spread across the website with just a single click. Shared templates are great for large portions of content that need to be repeated over and over, such as contact for information, footer, or newsletter subscription blocks. In this example, we're editing a call to action section. As you can see, this section has a background image and an overlay, with white text on it and a button that will take you somewhere else. It takes a while to set up the section, and if we use it in multiple pages, the moment you'd need to change something in that section, you would be forced to manually edit every single page it's been used in. This is where shared templates kick in. You can now save the section, declare it as a shared template, and simply add references to it in our pages. Since the template is now shared, when you edit it, let's say that you want to alter the text and the color of the button, the changes will be applied in both pages automatically. Responsive blocks and sections visibility is the other feature of Bricks we're introducing, and it allows you to present different content depending on the device you're viewing the page with. As you may know, columns could already be shown or hidden depending on the screen's resolution, but with this new feature, we're extending this possibility to blocks and sections as well. Let's see how context-dependent content works now. What you're seeing right now is a section that has a decoration on the right that's made a sign in the background to its rightmost column. If we were to stretch down the window, the column with the background would end up after the text, which is a result that in this case we don't want. Using the column display controls, we could prevent that from happening but hiding the column entirely would lead to not being able to see the decoration at all. What we can do now instead is creating a block that contains the decoration image and only shows it on the mobile devices. In order to do this, we edit the block and check the height from display control under the advanced tab and we then proceed selecting the breakpoints where we'd like our block to be hidden, leaving the mobile one unchecked. After the page has been saved, 
you will see that the decoration is shown exactly the way we want it. Thank you for watching this. Stay tuned for more tutorials and updates and make sure to follow us on Team Forest, Twitter, Facebook and YouTube to get the latest news.